Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to another animation, and this animation is called I Have a Thing for My Brother. Basically, that means that this person has a crush on their brother. I really am hoping that this video is clickbait. Also, I kind of look a bit different. I literally just woke up from a nap, so I kind of look a mess. But anyways, we're going to have a look at this animation. I've linked their channel down in the description down below. And yes, subscribe if you are new. I have a problem. And by problem, I mean really bad problem. I have this classmate who sits a few chairs away from me. He hates me. How do I know that? He said it point blank to my face before. Not the point. Even though he said he hates me, he constantly looks at me during and outside of class. Wanna hear the worst part? I have a crush on him. Wait, so is that boy her brother? I really hope it isn't. Like, I just genuinely hope it isn't because if it is, that's not good. Oh my god, I really do look hideous right now. I'm so sorry. Like, I woke up from a massive nap. It started off weird. He was the anomaly in the class. Quiet, reserved, kind of brooding, and very asocial. He's not failing the class, but he's not soaring either. For some reason, I was attracted to him. But he's your brother. Like, why have you got a crush on your brother? Oh no, this is so bad. Not flat out love, but enough for me to know I liked him, even though I didn't even know his name. Pretty sad, if you ask me. Now that I think about it, I never really talked to him. There was one time where I tried to introduce myself. It was right after class. He was slow to pack his things, so I went over to him first. Wait, so is it her brother? Because surely if it's her brother, she'll know who he is. Is. I feel like this might be clickbait and I'm actually kind of happy it is clickbait because if it wasn't clickbait I was really concerned. I tried to introduce myself, tell him my name and whatnot, but he just looked at me, stood up, said I hate you, and walked past me. Well at least he's up front and honestly that's good because if they're related she should definitely not have a crush on him. Honestly I like this guy already, he's kind of funny. I was pretty confused seeing as I didn't even know the guy and he was so hostile towards me. I never tried to talk to him again after that but I kept catching him staring at me. He would look away whenever I caught him. Maybe he has a secret crush in her. Honestly, you don't know. I really hope he doesn't, to be honest. He never spoke to me or followed me. All he did was stare at me. For some reason, that was endearing to me. Crazy, I know. Just hear me out. Whenever I would catch him looking at me, he wouldn't glare or scowl at me. It was more like a passive, curious look. He was sending me mixed signals constantly. Well, maybe you should go up and confront him. Be like, look, I seen you looking at me in class. Do you want to do it? Like, I know you are my brother. But let's just break the law like it'll be an illegal relationship. Oh my god, that would be so cool It wouldn't be cool at all It would be breaking the law and you two would go to jail unless you live in Alabama He first told me he hated me Then he kept staring at me like he wanted to talk to me or even be my friend Maybe he does have a secret crush on you. You don't know I eventually learned his name from classmates His name was Louis and he never talked to anyone in the school He didn't have any friends or anyone willing to talk to him. Oh, I feel so bad like he literally seems so lonely. Why is nobody gonna be his friend? Like, he needs friends. Appearance-wise, I can see why. He was pretty intimidating. Dark eyes, dark curly hair, tall. He glared at everything he stared at. He doesn't look scary. Like, I knew this is an animation. He might look scary in real life. But looking at him right now, he looks really sweet. Like, he looks approachable. He doesn't look like somebody who would punch you. Except me, apparently. Even with that knowledge in my mind, I never talked to him. I don't know why, but I prefer to observe him instead of getting hands-on knowledge. Some people suspect him to have bad intentions and others found his whole demeanor hot and attractive. I would agree with the latter. He most definitely wasn't unattractive and even though he hated interaction, he caught a lot of people's attention, including mine. One day during school, I had arrived at class earlier than everyone else. The only one who was in the classroom was Louis, much to my luck. I didn't say a word. I just sat at my desk, unpacked my bag, and grabbed my books. Oh my gosh, imagine if she turns around and he's just staring at her like this. Like that actually is really scary. Like I hate it when people stare at me. Whenever I'm out in a boy, everyone stares at me and it's so weird. I don't understand why they do it. Like, I actually genuinely hate it. He sat in the corner of the classroom, quiet, and staring at me once again. I could feel it. I heard him shift behind me and he stood next to my desk. Oh no, what is he gonna do? Honey, you might need a run. Like, he's literally gonna punch you by the sounds of it. Looking down at me. Now remember, I still had a teensy crush on him so that automatically made me flustered. I hit it well, though. I asked him if he needed anything and he just told me he hated me again. Okay, why is he walking up to her? 
saying that he hates her. I feel like boys say that to girls whenever they fancy them. Like if a boy has a crush on a girl, they'll act like they hate them because they don't want that person to know if they've got feelings for them. Honestly, he could be doing that. You've got no idea. It didn't sting as much as the first time, but it still bothered me. But I had him alone. I had the opportunity to ask him, finally. Before he could walk away, I asked him, why do you keep saying you hate me and keep staring at me every chance you get? I didn't say it meanly. I just asked a question. He just looked at me and kind of got mad. It's none of your business, he said. That set me off. Yeah, he definitely has a crush on you. I feel like he does 100%. I don't know what the title was about because apparently it isn't her brother. Or maybe it is her brother. Honestly, I've got no idea. I stood up right in front of him. How is that none of my business? I didn't yell it, but I certainly wasn't quiet either. You keep staring at me. Then you do a 360 and tell me you hate me twice. So yeah, it is my business. He just grew quiet and continued to stare at me. Why is he staring at her? Like, I'm low-key scared for her. I could never have somebody stare at me like that. Like, I honestly would be terrified. It was still a few minutes before class. You're ridiculous. I walked past him and instead went to the bathroom until the class began. He didn't look at me the entire time. He kept his gaze straight. Maybe I finally got him to stop or maybe I just ticked him off. Well, it's probably better he's not staring at you now. Like, imagine you turn around in class and some random boy staring at you. Like, you honestly would be so scared. It's weird. Whatever the case, I no longer had to deal with his mysterious stares. At the time, I didn't know if that made me happy or lonely. My crush on him was fading after that. About a week later, I was running a little behind and was going to be late for my one class. There were a few people in the hallway and the bell had already rung. With the heavy backpack slung over my shoulder, I ran with a lot of effort. Oh no, I bet you he's gonna pop out or like jump out of a locker. Honestly, there better be cameras there because I think she's about to get abducted. Just as I passed by a hallway leading to another part of the school, a hand shot out and grabbed me by the arm. Oh no, he's got her. She has actually been abducted like I predicted it. Oh no, this isn't gonna end up well. I was pulled in front of someone. Of course, I thought I was getting kidnapped, so I automatically swung my backpack off and slugged it into him. It's gonna be him, it's gonna be Louis, isn't it? Imagine he turns around and he's like, yeah, you're my sister. Oh my god, they could be long lost siblings, you've got no idea. I think we're about to find out anyways. He fell to the floor with a yell, and only then did I realize who I hit. It was Louis. I immediately apologized, but kept my distance from him, just in case he decided to pop up and try to swing at me. He just waved me off and stood up himself. I was getting anxious then because I was running late. I feel so bad for her. Like, honestly, that would be terrifying. Why has he tried to grab her? It's a bit fishy. Like, something about this is weird. He suddenly said, you remind me of someone. I had no idea what he was talking about at that time, but he continued. You look exactly like my sister. Wait, I'm so confused. Are they long lost siblings? Oh my gosh, this is weird. She and I were close, but my parents split and she went with mom. That got me thinking. What's your sister's name? Would she not remember her brother, though? Maybe she was a wee baby when they split up, I've got no idea. But I'm pretty sure they're in the same class, which means they're the same age. So surely she should remember him as well. He sighed, like he didn't want to talk about it. But he answered anyways. Bell Xavier. It was then I realized something horrifying. My dad's last name is Xavier. I don't know how to end this. I don't know if there's a way to end this. My former crush, who hated me and constantly stared at me. Oh my god, that's so weird. I've paused this as well, but does she not look look like me. Like, I feel like I look like her. That's kind of weird. Anyways, back to the video. This is weird. Like, why are they siblings? That's kind of creepy. Turned out to be my brother. You should have seen my mom's face when I told her. Then she revealed to me that when she divorced from mine and Louis's dad, she changed my name from Belle to Alexa because my dad picked my previous name. So because of that, my mom and dad reconnected. A child custody battle broke out and now Louis and I are currently in a foster family because my parents won't settle on any agreement. Okay, that took a really dark dark deep turn. Why can't they just co-parent? That's actually so annoying. But like, how did she not know that he was her brother? They're in the same class, which I'm pretty sure means that they're the same age. Something about this is weird, like I don't know how to feel. So yeah, that happened. All because I had a fascination for Louis. Do I regret it? Kind of, yes. Is there a chance I will crush on someone who could turn my life upside down again? Yes. But the good news is, I don't have a crush on Louis anymore. Yeah, that's good because he is your brother. Like, it's not good to have a crush on your brother. As if that's my biggest problem. Our parents asked us what we wanted to do. I don't know why we can't just go back to the way we were. But apparently that's not an option. Now that I know I had a sibling, things changed. That's what my mom said anyways. So now, not only are my parents having a legal battle, Louis and 
and I also got dragged into this and were being pressured into making a decision of who to stay with. I don't know my dad very well, but he said Louie and I should try to become closer to one another. If I went with mom, she wanted Louie to come with me since she believes he's not getting the right attention. Who do you think I should choose? My mom or my dad? Okay, so that was the end of the video and I don't know how to feel about that. It was quite a short animation. I'm just confused. So basically she had a crush on a boy who didn't like her and then it turns out that they were siblings and now that they found out they're siblings, they've been put into a foster home because their parents split up when they were younger and they're now having a massive custody battle over who can get the kids. Honestly guys, I don't know. Like that whole video was confusing to be honest. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I currently look a mess. Like I really do. I literally just woke up from a nap. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you are new and yes, I will see you all in my next video.